Have you ever stopped to ponder the profound role that social capital plays in economic development? In the vibrant heart of Africa, there exists a country named Rwanda. This nation, once marred by a gruesome genocide in the mid-90s, has embarked on a journey of recovery and growth. And at the core of its revival, you will find an intriguing element, social capital. For many, social capital is a nebulous concept. It represents the networks, relationships and norms that shape the quality and quantity of a society's social interactions. In Rwanda, the power of social capital manifests in an ingenious practice known as Umuganda. Umuganda, which translates to coming together in common purpose, is a community workday held on the last Saturday of every month. On this day, Rwandans of all ages and social standings put aside their daily tasks to contribute to public works projects. They build roads, clean neighborhoods, construct houses for the less fortunate, and even engage in discussions about community issues. Through Umuganda, social capital isn't just a theoretical concept. It's a living, breathing entity that propels Rwanda forward. Networks are built and strengthened as people work side by side. Trust develops as they collaborate towards common goals. Social norms are shaped as they dialogue about community concerns. The ripple effects of these dynamics extend far beyond the monthly workday, influencing every facet of Rwandan society, including its economic development. For instance, by working together to build infrastructure, Rwandans are not only creating physical capital, but also fostering a sense of ownership and responsibility that inspires further development. The conversations that happen during Umuganda often lead to innovative solutions for local problems, demonstrating how social capital can spur creativity and entrepreneurship. And the trust built through these interactions facilitates cooperation and reduces transaction costs, key ingredients for economic efficiency. Rwanda's experience provides a powerful testament to the role of social capital in development. It shows that social capital isn't merely a byproduct of economic growth. Instead, it can be a driving force that propels a society towards development. So what have we discovered today? We've observed that social capital, symbolized by practices like Umuganda in Rwanda, is a potent engine for development. It creates and strengthens networks, fosters trust, shapes social norms and inspires innovation. We've seen that social capital can contribute to physical capital, as demonstrated by the infrastructure projects undertaken during Umuganda. It can also reduce transaction costs and increase economic efficiency by fostering a sense of community and cooperation. And lastly, we've learned that social capital can be cultivated intentionally, as Rwanda has done, to accelerate development. In conclusion, social capital is not just an abstract concept, it's a tangible force that, when harnessed effectively, can propel societies towards greater prosperity. As we move forward, let us not overlook the power of social capital in shaping our world.